Okay, so tonight is the 8th of October. Um, some at the start. <laughs> I'll just say it. It's the 8th of October tonight, and cadets are doing initiative exercises, as you can see down it. Uh, my flight are doing really well already, so what the target is to do is they've got to build a crane and they've then got to move the ball up from the ground and basically the furthest off the ground wins. And we've also got some cadets doing lessons tonight, and at the start of the night we did a bit of a drill that we started the street. Which started very well. So right now I'm just going to go and eat this drill. Tonight I've been doing air power um, and I've learned limitations of air power. Um, price, weather conditions and uh, sensitivity to light and also sensitivity to technology. Thank you God, of George. It's your idea, thanks to Ram. This is our and this is our what? crane and it spins a 360. Is it going to plan so far? It's going to plan, it's going to work. It's going to be the best. Well, IT sounding very confident. Good. What's your, what, have you got a team name? Um, no. No. Hawthorne, do you want to explain what your idea around this? Uh, well, I didn't know there was one, but <laughs> kind of this supports this, we call this should work. That's okay. about it really. It looks unique. <laughs> yes. Unique. Inspiration. Show me it works, please. Okay, 
Right. Right, so you've got your designs, okay, we've had a look at the designs. Have a look at the teams. So, uh, a bit awful. How did your team work for you? I think we were really good actually. We had, um, so had a discussion at the beginning and then we decided that we'd have group three deal with the base and the arm. Well, not the arm, it's a bit here. And the three that were working on the mechanism, how we're going to lift it. And then when we'd worked out what we were doing, we built our separate parts. And then when they were built, we came back together again to implement them together. And then we worked together to try and support it. Which, which went well. The rest of the team, how did you rate your team leader? <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. If you did it again, what would you do differently? Probably spend a bit more time in the planning chase. More time planning. Okay. You guys, um, Team leader, Fred Marsh, what do you think of your team? Um, I think the line of communication is bad. Okay. So the rest of the team, what did you think of your leader? Good, yeah, go Right, okay. And again, if you did it again, what would you do differently? Yeah, yeah. More time planning it. A lot more shit, like... I think looking at the two designs, <laughs> I would award that one first place. Okay, run that up. Don't ask me why. <laughs> so, hello, Wiley. How did the DV expedition go? The practice. It was very good. Um, I really enjoyed the expedition. I found my map reading skills greatly improved and um, the team building exercise was really helpful. Um, it tested the limits of our endurance. Yeah. Um, as in, we had heavy packs and we had to walk quite a long distance. But it was good because it showed us ways where we can learn how to do better and how to change our approach and how to modify what we do. That's fantastic. What was the biggest memory of it? Was it, I it could be something linked to the award or something, just the whole experience? I think it, for me, it was actually the camping out and the cooking of our own food. And Being then, independent. Yes, and watching the, it was actually really a beautiful evening and we watched the sun set before we went to bed. And that was a really, really beautiful, beautiful moment. Yeah. Thank you very much, Riley. If you like this video, click on the like button. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you, everyone.